Hello and welcome to Imperator Room. My name is Mentris and welcome to Superatia. We already got quite a big piece of land that we've conquered. But, well, the biggest problem is we need money. Money, we are running in the minus. Our army maintenance is costing too much and we make way too less money. So we need to make, well, make more money or get a good vessel. And to find a good vessel, we need a good target. So we could have looked at this area. As you can see, they have quite a nice tax income. And as you can see, we also got a little different tax income. So we definitely need to see what some areas are doing good and what we are doing wrong. We are still in a war and I was just looking around a bit to find out where there was war but it's the only regional alliance we got and that's with this guy. It, it's a little war that's going on but well we're not going to bother that much in it. We got one scorn family, we got some starving pups that will soon go away. We got unused straight and we are going to use it for precious metals or grain what should we do i kind of want to get more loyalty i don't know if we need more loyalty because their loyalty is good so if we do a surplus the city loyalty will go up but if we do like the grain the other one we have the population capacity will go up and that is a good thing so let's do that you guys want to give us money we always accept it and I kind of want to get a few of my main armies grouped up we got way too many armies these are all armies I kind of don't want and there's no way we can disband them because of the loyalty so we do need to find some armies that we can disband but they are rare they are pretty rare Armies with loyal commander, all loyal commanders, and I don't like that that much. But we can, we are going to take a look at how much they cost us because this army costing us two ducats and this army is almost costing me nothing. So there's a big difference in that whole system. So let's first get our people to the location. And then uh, let's see what do we we still got some a disloyal character well I really really don't have a problem with that we are still at war and we got one guy with with no general right you're going that way you are kind of loyal you're costing me almost nothing. All right, now we got like a lot of people who wanted to make us more offers. Stability is slowly going up. We got a lot of military power, so we might be able to do manpower recovery speed. We'll, we'll be able to do that in a few turns. So for now we got like these two armies and we cannot even merge them. All right, we are still making money. Now I want to see what's the most expensive. This, this, only this one is already damn expensive. And it's because they're completely loyal there's nothing I can do. Normal type with no special ability, with no special ability. 
no special ability but these two are loyal this one I wish I could see how much they cost me individually but we cannot see that because these two are the most expensive I, I know that already but if I get like an army like this one they're all loyal but it's costing me almost nothing and this army is kind of crazy because it's costing me way too much money this army is like also at chariots but is also not costing me anything not much this is also a crazy army can I split up the loyalties and yeah that that's what I wanted to do you guys go there you guys go to that and you guys you're still loyal that's that's kind of annoying because now I'm messing them up I shouldn't have split them in half create a new unit whoa my god that was loud you I want to select you guys you guys only cost me one ducat but well it cost me so that should help us a lot all right now let's find ourselves a new target and I wish we could select like enemies so that I could go and look at their diplomacy screen pretty fast and look who they are allied to you're having a truce you got like a defenders pack league with some of these guys and you got like a lot of alliances that's a lot i kind of want to have a few minor vassals like this guy that will he will I think he's even at war now so open diplomacy screen you got a truce what's this then if you got a truce but yes this is what I wanted to see you are at war with these two so if I can make you a vessel Hmm, interesting. Interesting indeed, because if I declare war on... If I declare war on you, and I want to fabricate a claim, covert option, fabricate a claim against that province. Oh, that was loud. All right. And this army is going to march toward here. Sometimes it's it's just too hard to see who is has an alliance with who. Pause the game. Open diplomatic screen. We cannot because our diplomat is still en route. Take. All right. Let our armies move in. Have more troops move in. And we've got our first victory and I need to get my second big army in there. All right. And we should, we should be moving in these armies. 
in as well. All right. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. And another victory, but it's not helping us that much yet. Kind of should have taken out him first. That was our first loss. That was not good. I must say it's it's kind of hard to. Oh, this is even more annoying. It's hard to keep an eye on all our troops and to see where they go and where they are not going, and and I'm kind of messing it up at the moment. And that's all because this guy I need to regroup my armies and I definitely need to do that fast because I have a lot of losing armies at the moment and we need a new researcher you're a good one Let's speed things up a bit so that my troops and all right. Now that you guys can move as one, can we? Deselect you and move you guys in one? No, we cannot. We're first going to get this one out of the war because he is kind of annoying. And accept the offer. Alright, this army, we are now going to play a little bit safe. We're going to move our troops close together. And do it one by one because, well, as you can see, we're kind of in a big war. <laughs> Great, and he goes into another big war. That's kind of annoying. Oh, that's definitely not good. 26. We're all pulling back. We are losing left and right and I might have taken up a bit too much. I should have recovered my armies first. And this is going to cost me. Especially all those troops Prisoners abroad. The fun thing is, he is still going on his own way, and therefore, the main army lost. We really need to recover.
Let us move. Yeah, now he's losing as well, the damn dummy. Oh man, this is going to be a hard one. We can take down that army, that small army. Alright, that's one army down. We are now moving as one big force. farmland problem is are we going to let's see if we can just I really need to slow it down a bit. <laughs> if we can take this area, it, it it's going to cost me a lot of manpower, that's for sure. It's something I am willing to take. Oh, we did the vendors outcome we might win. This is one hell of a blow. And this is kind of why I need uh, vessels. Bec because if you got like vessels, they will do the little battles and clear up the small lands for you. And at the moment. We kind of need to get one out of the war. Take these towns. And if we can take these, we might be able to turn stuff around. And now he is doing like my work that we need to get done if we take this city we can get one out one enemy out and we can move on to the next one and i might this totally split it up that's not good in all kind of small countries we definitely have no choice Come on, let's take the country. Excellent. If I go that way, open diplomat, if I can sue you, I just take you, you would accept that. Take all your money. Ok, 
Crash Judgment, I don't want to have more families to worry about. Can we call in our ally? Would be nice. Alliance actions. We are no longer your alliances. Cause belly. No, I guess we cannot call them in. Right, with them split up. And we get a tri new tribal chief. That's never a good thing because then we got like a lot of range arranging to do and what do we need manpower recovery that's definitely something we need at the moment Come on, let's take this land and that way get another one out of the war. If we can do that, that's a good thing. Because we are losing money like crazy. Where is that? that? He's just waiting there. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not what I expected. How could I lose this? Hmm. This is not what I wanted, but I know I need to get my land in order to fix this. And if I lose this battle, it will be even worse. I should have gone for all the armies. Oh my god, this is really, really horrible. So, which we are going to liberate a lot, and we're going to be set back a lot. Let's see what's going on. All right, so we lost, I guess, this area, and we've lost these two. Uh, are we a regional power again? I guess so. And we're definitely losing money. We're losing money a lot. So we are having a little setback. At least we didn't lose our most profitable province. Uh, select you are loyal to somebody that's kind of annoying that one I can remove uh, I hate it when they do that can we declare warn you open diplomacy we got like peace until 1935. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. Oh man, we are going to take a little break. Slow things down a bit. Try and get stuff in order. And well, we are going to try and fix this in the next episode. What a mess I made. What a mess. This was one messy episode. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. And maybe I shouldn't play at speed 5. Because that's not a good idea. Thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.